Hello there, this is Jesse Coffee with my second update of video of the day. And this will be on DVDs that DVDs that I got from the same woman who um saw me uh, all of the VHS tapes that were in the other update. Now this is a bit of a shorter update, so it will be done on my phone. Alright. We'll begin here with crossing over with Harrison Ford, Ray Leona, Jim Sturgis, and Ashley Judd. This is an Alliance DVD from 2009. Weinstein Company film. So I hope he didn't rape anybody. <laughs> oh, I hope those Weinsteins didn't rape anybody during the making of it. Next, we have a widescreen of Man on Fire on 20th Century Fox. Home Entertainment, Regency Pictures Bill. Reads the Enterprises film, has audio commentaries by director Tony Scott, co-star Dakota Fanning, producer Logan Foster, and screenwriter Brian Hedlund. Has some wrapping paper in there. Scene selection and DTED for DTS. Let's see if it has any coupons. And for BTS titles from Fox. There are the list of movies that were in BTS on Fox. DVD of Man on Fire. Next, Mission to Mars with uh, Gary Sinise and Tim Robbins. This is a Touchstone Home Video release from 2000, I think. Certainly looks like the original dressing. Next, we have Four Brothers, Might Screen, on Paramount Home Video. Home Entertainment, that is. DVD from 2005. A lot of bonus features, a few documentaries, three doc deleted scenes, theatrical trailer, and commentary by director John Singleton. Late John Singleton, that is. Press ceremony and release, got that. And Twisted. Ashley Judd, Samuel L. Jackson, and Annie Garcia. I think this is the only positive review of the film anywhere. Uh -huh. on Rotten Tomatoes. I'm gonna have to look at that again. I think I've only got three percent there. X Rail and comes in a uh, rail case, I think. That's a rail case for this one. Next is Miramax release Gone Baby Gone. Hope begins where the secrets end, apparently. It's a Miramax DVD from 2008. It's one of the uh, more recent Buena Vista distributed. One of the more recent Walt Disney Studios Home Entertainment distributed releases, although it still references the company's Buena Vista Home Entertainment on the case. Next, All the King's Men. He thought he had the world by the tail. Where are four Academy Awards, including Best Picture, Actor, and Supporting Actress. Original 1949 version. Sony Pictures Home Entertainment reprint from 2006. And reprinted in time for the remake that starred Sean Penn. And here's uh, Arrival with Amy Adams, Jeremy Renner, and Forrest Whitaker. This is a Paramount release from 2017. So one of my more recent Paramount releases, sticking in between my DVDs of the first season of the Casa Grandes and the DVD I have of Sama. There's the disc, which is in the Nico case. Here's... Uh, Luc Besson presents District 3. And the camera went out of focus there. 
blows you out like a, blows past you like a hurricane, according to MTV. Mr. B13, that's the name of it. This is a Magnolia Home Entertainment release from 2006, which means it's one of the first Magnolia DVDs to be made. And mastered in THX. I'll see if any of the... So this will be... If I pop this in, this will be a good time to check whether any of Magnolia's releases ever used the THX logo. At the beginning. Next I have Freedom Land with Samuel L. Jackson and Julianne Moore. This is a Sony Pictures Home Entertainment release again. This is from 2006. And no bonus features are listed on the back for some reason. This is the, and this is also the full screen release, which uh, would be kind of useless because uh, this was a DVD only title, if I'm not mistaken. Next, I have a rental exclusive of Amelia with Hilary Swank and Richard Gere. 20th Century Fox Entertainment release from 2009. Fox Searchlight Pictures film. And we have a... Uh, yellow gray disc. You know, just a gray disc. Uh, gray disc with white print. Next we have... There Will Be Blood. With Daniel Day Lewis. I remember hearing about this film when I was nine. <laughs> if you can believe that. Written and directed by Paul Thomas Anderson. Uh, written and directed by Paul Thomas Anderson, whose credit is nearly blocked up by the preview 999 sticker. Purchased for Blockbuster on August 18th, 2008. Paramount Vantage Film. I think Miramax handled it internationally. Paramount disc from 2008. And this one has a black disc, which is a nice change of pace from usual boring gray that Paramount disc usually came in uh, around this time. Here's American Confederate with Parker Stevenson. This is an ITN release from 2019. So it's very recent. Hmm. Okay. Next we have Muni Beneath the Twelve Mile Reef. Two double film set. Double film set from Plan of Disc Corporation. At least in 2004. And this is a double-sided disc. Damn it. And we have a classic. Well, the remake of a classic. Uh, the Lion in Winter. Glenn Close and Patrick Stewart in The World's Me Famous by uh, Catherine Hepburn and Peter O'Toole. Long Lone's and Patrick's story, that should be. Lions Gate Owner Team of Release from 2003, which means it's one of the first, I think, from after... No, from 2004, which means it's one of the first from after they bought out Artisan. Next, I have the full screen edition of Blue, Ro Blue Collar Comedy Tour, One for the Road. Appearing tonight, Jeff Foxworthy, Larry the Cable Guy, Bill Engvall, and Ron White. This is a Paramount Home Entertainment release uh, of a uh, film released by made by Parallel Entertainment. The disc is from 2006, which means that it's DVD only. I believe. What is it, DVD only?
There's an ad for the uh, CD containing all the routines. And there's nothing on the back of that one, so I'm just going to stick it in there. Next I have... Well, this looks kind of... As this is uh, Independence Day Resurgence. Case looks kind of deceptive. It being that... Well, it's repackaged by Family Video. Uh, it says there. Uh, I wonder if they're still around or if they've... Uh, gone out of business uh, because of the COVID-19 pandemic. If they were taken out by COVID. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure they were still home and this was, they ran out of this disc. And the disc is legitimate. This is a 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment release from 2016. Which means it's... Uh, well, from just before... From... Uh, well, it's from uh, almost a year before uh, Disney began trying to buy them out, and they finally completed their purchase in March 2019, and that company is now 20th Century Studios. Here is a Countess from Hong Kong in widescreen. Written and directed by Charlie Chaplin, of course. This is a universal release from 2002, and uh, the film is from 1966, not 1994. This was Charlie Chaplin's last film. He first played in the U.S. in 1967, though. Which means, which meant that it was the first to get played after, uh, after he, uh, after the Huac shit, uh, that he dealt with. And released. First get released in the States, that is. Uh, next uh, is the deal with William H. Macy. Roll the cameras! <sighs> Something in my eye there. This is a Peach Ar Peace Arch release from 2009. It's a Canadian film. Uh, going by the uh, logos on the back. Filmed in Quebec. So this is a Canadian film. U.S. DVD of a Canadian film. Next is uh, Where the Red Fern Grows To. The classic continues. With Wilford Brimley, the late Wilford Brimley. Late great one from... Uh, you may remember the uh, Liberty Medical commercials. Uh, also stars Chad McQueen and Doug McCann. This is a Sterling Home Entertainment DVD from 2002. Guaranteed superior quality. This disc is formatted for worldwide use. Oh, so I can play on... My DVD player without having to resort to VLC. Thanks, Sterling. Because uh, uh, my player is way locked to regions here. <laughs> Next is Greenberg. With Ben Stiller. From the acclaimed director of The Squid and the Whale. Also starring Greta Gerwig. Reese Ifans and Jennifer Jason Lee. This is an Alliance Films... Release again from 2010. Yep, 2010. Property of zip.ca. And here's Zord, Sword of Venus with Robert Clark. This is an Alpha Films DVD. Alpha Video DVD from 2004. Ah. Koji's County, USA. Cries from the Border. 
Warning, parental discretion advised. This film may be, it may be inappropriate for children or sensitive viewers. This is a Genius Entertainment release from 2000 and... Uh, I think 2006. It's a 2005 documentary. And next, Enter the Blue, widescreen edition. Treasure as its price. This was the last MGM film released on VHS, but this is the DVD of it. This is a Sony Pictures Home Entertainment release from 2005. Got very deleted scenes, audio commentary, screen test, and diving deeper into the big blue with the making up making up featurette. Comes in an eco case. And next, my own worst enemy with Christian Slater, the complete series. One man, two very different lives. This is a universal release of an NBC show. That uh, was very short-lived, uh, as you can kind of tell by the fact that it only comes on two discs. It's a 2009 DVD. Here's the uh, disc, which is plain with uh, red lab with red ink. Never heard of this show. And, uh, well, I have... <laughs> Uh, good reason not to have heard of it, because uh, I doubt it would have survived at the time, because uh, this was when the Jay Leno show uh, was starting to get on, and uh, that was a flop. Notorious one for NBC. And it caused one of that network's biggest scandals. The Jay Leno show did. Uh, anyway, the next DVD is The Beast, part of the Columbia Pictures Combat Classic series. This is a Sony Pictures Home Entertainment release from 2010. With bonus features, talent files, and, interact and talent files. And inside, we have the original disc, which was released in 2003. Here's Hatfields and McCoys. Two disc set. Mini series. This is a Sony Pictures Home Entertainment release from 2012. 2012. Uh, and they made a film called Sony also made a film called 2012, which was about one thing that never came to lie on December 21st of that year, which would be the end of the world. Uh, the main king of Hatfields and McCoys and I Know These Seals music video featuring Kevin Costner and Mono West are the bonus features. That's some nice artwork on the inside. There's disc one and disc two. Sony Pictures Television miniseries. Next, Frank and Jesse. With Rob Lowe, Bill Paxton, and Randy Travis. This is a Lionsgate DVD. from 2007 and just as the trailer and cast and crew stuff and comes on a boring gray desk license from Studio Canal then the saddest music in the world with Isabella Rosalini uh, Mark McKinney Madeira Medeiros, David Fox and Rose McKillen Love, politics, beer. This is a MGM DVD. From 2004. Got three short films from director Guy Mann. Teardrops and the featurettes involving the film. Teasers and the theatrical trailer. This is an IFC film. Next, Captain Kidd, two swashbuckling adventures, Legend of the Sea Wolf and Captain Kidd. 
another Platinum Disc Corporation disc, this time, and also from 2004. Uh, much like the other one. And also, this is a double-sided disc again. Next, The Messengers. Kristen Stewart, Dylan McCurbert, McDermott, and John Corbett. If no one believes you, how can you war them? This is Sony Pictures Home Entertainment release of a Columbia, a Columbia Pictures film. Uh, DVDs from 2007. The height endorsement from sci-fi.com. <laughs> Screen Gems film. Screen Gems and Columbia! <laughs> oh boy. I wonder how that worked out. There's a 2000s. Because already both studios are owned by Sony. Here it is. Slow, fa Slow West. Wanted. Dead or dead. It's a Lionsgate release from 2015. An A24 film. From. Rented from the DVD Express. Nice name for a DVD rental company. Next we have Angel and the Bad Man. This is a Vina distributor release. It doesn't say the year that this is from. But I think the film is from the 30s. Here's one from 1980. And it's The Mountain Men with uh, Charlton Heston and Brian Keith. Columbia TriStar DVD from 2002. If you enjoyed this film, we recommend Legends of the Fall, Geronimo, American Legend, and The Quick and the Dead. Which concerns me. And that second film, yeah, I might want to check that out after seeing The Man and Men. Uh, especially based on Siskel and Ebert's descriptions of it. Particularly Gene's description of it. <laughs> I haven't seen the film, but... Here's a... Mr. Brooks. This is a 2007 DVD. Uh, it's an MGM DVD distributed by 20th Century Fox Entertainment. Relatively me, a film. Back in the hub there. Then we have The Walker, from the director of American Gigolo. This is a Think Film movie, Image Entertainment release from 2008. Then we have The Clearing, of Robert Redford, Helen Mirren, and Willem Dafoe, on 20th Century Fox Entertainment. This is from 2004, which means it's one of the very last to have that well, old branding before they started putting the FDI anti-piracy warning logo on the back. Read it from Video, Cab Video Caballo. And there are the scene selections. Here's Trespassing Aloud. The Free Trade Area of the Americas. From the John Birch Society. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'll spend a lot of time making fun of this then. Because <laughs> it's from the John Birch Society. It's from the John Birch Society. What do you ex what else do what do you expect me to do with it? Also we have some CD Rs in here. Sponsman Park. Uh, Larry Adler. Front Side Story, Chapter 1, Your Legacy Tonight! <laughs> Looks like some anti-gun control thing. And there's disc itself, which I'll certainly 
to the honor of ripping the shreds on the internet. <laughs> I'll be doing my share of ripping this movie to shreds online. <laughs> okay. Because, <laughs> again, John Birch Society. And uh, John Birch is the original wacky Ryan Wing Conspiracy Theorists Club. Uh, now we have six Psycho Stalkers, which are... 213, Salvage, Asunder, Ascendance, Blaine Rose, and Mother's Voice. <laughs> Here's the disc with uh, Blaine Rose, Salvage, 213, Descendant, and the other one is Mother's Boys and Asunder. So definitely not in the order in the front cover. Here's Fast Five, Extended Edition. Includes two versions, Extended and Original. This is a Universal DVD from 2011, and it's still sealed! <laughs> Let's open it up. Nothing on the inside. Here's the disc, which is on a purple label. Next, DOA with Edmund Bryan, Pamela Brennan, and Neville, Neville Brand. Also on Vena Distributor. And again, we do not, I do not know when this is from. But the film is from 1950. This is the original 1950 version. I uh, don't know when the disc itself is from. Next uh, is Anger Management. Feel the love. This is a Columbia TriStar DVD from 2003. Uh, feature line commentary, couple feature rats, deleted scenes, a gag reel. Do you have anger problems game, bonus features, and bonus trailers? There's the disc itself, and has scene selection. If you enjoyed this DVD, we recommend as good as it gets, Mr. Deeds and Punch Drunk Love. <clears throat> and next, Heist. This is a VVS Films release from... My first VVS Films release. It's from 2000 and... Uh, doesn't say, but I think it's from 2016. The Last Robin Hood with Kevin Kline, Susan Sarandon, and Dakota Fanning. This is from 2013. It's an A and E film. And finally, 54 with Ryan Philippe, Salma Hayek, Neva Campbell, and Mike Myers. This is an E1 DVD, Entertainment One, released from 2015. Of a Miramax film, uh, originally, and. Uh, I think this will have all the, either the, either the Miramax Home Entertainment contents or the Alliance Entertainment, Alliance DVD contents, they prepare any for this disc, or, uh, and the, uh, or even a newer master. So I'll have to see. Those are the DVDs I got. Thank you, Debbie. My uh, neighbor is moving out, who gave me all these. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video.